This is the last chapter, ladies and gentlemen, young boys and girls, Nosogo and Bakulo, wherever you may be in the world, Hazara communities, listening to this last part, this last episode and chapter of a Vazir's Daughter by Lilies Hamilton, printed in 1900, written during the Hazara War. And of course, at the periphery of the great game, and the great games were played for greater power, and that's still going on. What happens to this game? What happens to the story of the Wazir's daughter? We have completely forgotten about the war, haven't we? Niyate shab zindadari dashtim, awwale shab chashmimara khabbart. We went into the story after first, second and third, probably there was a talk of war, there was talk of uh, taxes, the Kabul a king, the Emir of Kabul, wanted the Hazaras to pay taxes or surrender to the main central government. They said, no, we are not going to pay taxes. Why should we pay taxes? And that's where the war begins, where all men go and fight. What happens to the women? What happens to the villages? What happens to the society? That story, we went to the Afsana of Gulbegum, all the way to chapter 40. And you will see what happens here. Ah, I'm really going to miss this. This is going to be the last chapter. Free. Chapter 40. Free at last. Ah, we are free. Do you see the rock? That is the boundary line between the Amir's territory and ours. We are no longer in Afghanistan, Gulbegum said suddenly. We are free. Ah, oh, we are free. You forget, her companion replied. It is all Afghanistan now. All ruled by the same king. And by the same laws. All is changed since last you passed that rock. All Hazara is now Afghanistan. The girl sighed. But sadness could find no long resting place in those glad eyes. The girl sighed, but sadness could not find any resting place in those glad eyes. That may be. I suppose it is so. She said, but there is a difference somewhere, somehow. It may be in the air. It may be only in my heart. But I feel different. And 
ne mul gazre ever since i saw the rock in the distance the word keeps ringing in my ears mon kotel minger ne am kotel ki didum guftum free 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 the chief secretary turned suddenly and looked at her ah that is it he said a touch of something like sadness in his voice you are free here ah huh? you are at home now you are no longer my slave at all you are your own mistress is that what you mean i mean nothing of that no 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 me aga saheb chi me gani yer kam gabaniya the girl replied looking down i was hardly thinking of myself Mother, the chord khot qed neem certainly not of my own position as regards you ye khui gab khub na ma azad mana ini batano you know na idad bi khidir da i was only thinking that here in this country there is no king who keeps his servants working day and night for him and so when they are overworked and cannot accomplish the tasks that are set to them blames and reproaches and imprison them yani mamu gum ki dei ur khaman thani ur kham bachaini ki masalan nafriya khuram sub tashaw da zeri karobar qaid kana ban kana here you aga are free because you have no master i have often thought in kabul that though you called yourself free that yours not ours was the slavery to ngi ma chief secretary bodam do ngi bhai tu kai khalas bode tu ichir kham farar ke de mialam a far worse bondage than that of the lowliest menial in your own household am zakhir tarin ghulam o kanis ka de beshtar tu zer kar na bode and tu ki ras ras always working always striving never accomplishing never satisfying how do you know all this durst durst malum ki mai khada zer kar bada her master asked what makes you guess these things girl o doctor tu chirga mi torar magi aga i know because i feel and as she spoke she placed her hand upon her heart i was once free ما میشه خوب بده بندی نبودم ما یک آزاد شخص بودم and i know what the joys of freedom are ما قدر آزادی رو خوب میشناسم then i became a slave your slave she said lowering her voice and dwelling with a certain tender lingering on the last two your slave خادم شما است and uh, and then i found that there is a joy in service as well as in freedom waqt khadim shmo wa shudum ba des bandi ma fahmidum ki de khidmat amam o qadar kayfiyata am o qadar azadiya ki to bandi ego shuno ki de unjam to zinda bashi agar be bandagi irshad mekunim tara ishare ist ki azad mekunim tara but to be happy one's services must be recognized must be appreciated or i at least could no longer serve magar magar adam ki goje khidmat kana bae du ka qadr ya zum khushuna na itr khom ni ki bhai tu har kar kani ho ga ha ha sai sai i mean kar diya then you think i appreciated your services gulbegum chi magar ma qadr dani sur kadam ya na har master as looking at her more scrutinously then was his wont and noting how the wind had caught her cheeks and heightened her color rangshit tazashda subham shuda azad hawa hai diga yes she said boldly you might scold me or you might even curse me but i knew what i don't think perhaps you know and that is that you would have missed me and had i not been ready to receive you قدردانی دیگه چی رقم باشه اگر ما نام بودم تو مثلا گنگز گول مو بودی دیگه هیچ نام فامیلی کی خار خانه چی رقم باشه هیچ کس دیگه اون نمیتونه تو کار بعد از مردنی خانم تو خو این میتونم کار بارم انجام دادم 
یعنی قدردانی یک هر کس گفته بسه ای گل بارگین مفهمه خوش You could not have done without me You would not be here today now free without me And the girl tossed her head and drew in a long drought of fresh pure morning breeze that was blowing from her own native hills از کوهستانی از را در بات میچلا مگه چطور قدر دانی نمشه خب ما اگر نم بودم تو مودیم اینجا امروز And stirring in her old pride and independence اما غرور و ازاد منیشی زیر که از بندیش دو پیش و دشت اونو پس بیدار مشه یک دفعه در زی کوهستان آه And so you think the Ami did not appreciate my services? Is that your idea, Gulbegum? The official asked Nettled. No, no, it's not, Agha Sahib, the girl said more quietly. He did. He always will appreciate your work, even more perhaps now you have left and when you were actually with him. But he had not that perfect confidence in you. Aitabari kamil na dashti ga na? و گفتن چطور بله تو شکت کشان نفرمونجی پس پشت تو سازیش کدن which alone can bring joy he has seen too little of truth and faith among his own people to trust you as you deserve to be trusted تو سعی کن تو دو از آدمی پنجاب از طرف اندوستان هم دیده منی خودی چی دزیر دیستی ابی رفت درمان کتاش ده و تمام کاری چیز تمام اعتبار بله است و یستو که دکتران کس معتبر نیه ده اینجی و بلیش کس اعتبار نداره That is what must have been so galling to you working and toiling as you did to have to stand in the court and see him listen to those wolves and vultures when they yelped and screamed against you who were a son to him مگر باز دیدی که هموقت تحقیر شدی تو تو که مثلی بچه شوری زیر دیست خود چکتش دی He does not trust his own son گل بگم The official said quietly How can he? All his life long he has been surrounded with intrigue این دمزو خانه که کتش دخوی مخانواده رویال بودن تمام بزنن در رویال گیم مصروف بودن پدرشی از پیش کاکایشی ده سازش های او کشو بگیری اقتدار و پاور Every man fighting for himself against every other man Brother against brother Father against son And son against father Even wife against husband Think of that Gul Begum How can he trust any man? چیز قمیت بار کنه I know what difficulties he has to contend with, the people he has to deal with. The girl sighed, then drew up her head joyously again and drank in the morning breeze. <sighs> Let us forget it, Agha. Forget it all forever. Forget that we, either of us, ever saw Kabul. یک خود فراموش که موی هم کابل کدام کابل موقعیت نرفته ده کابل فراموش ever toiled and worked and were slaves که یک قدر مزاحمت کشده باشی یا مو غلام من لششی یعنی کل رب پاک منیم چطور have you then no pleasant memories of کابل nothing you would care to remember now you have left یعنی کابل رب فراموش که دیگه تو ایچ چیز ده خاطریت نمانده خوش نام دهی ده بنجی تو Would you rather have stayed with Muhammad Jan and have given him all the services you have given me? Huh? Tu kabul agar bandi na mushdi khud dis Muhammad Jan budi tab mantiq budi magar dis ki budi to. Somehow out here among the Hazara hills their relative position seemed somehow altered. Al dizi ko istana ke amde id gar qamr da inji. Gul begum zara دیگه ها ده دیگه خویه اینجی و اون پوزیشن چی دیگه خم شده شکایت مونه داره 
Here in this wild country, she was a woman of position. مختلف وزیر دیگر. He a mere fugitive. یه آل فراریه. Whom she was rescuing. نه ولی یه خواص بندی خلاص کرده نیه اورا. He felt it without formulating any thoughts. ایج لازم نبود که دوریزی فکر کنی. سیچویشن نمور قواسته دیگه لی. آقا That is hardly a fair question. Nah, here comes the question. Good question, Nia. She said, "You say I have given you services. Do you accept them as a gift, or was I merely a slave bound to render them?" And to me, I'll never forget. Question, who made it? But I'll never forget that I was given a gift, and I was bound to render them. And to me, I'll never forget that I was given a gift, or was I merely a slave bound to render them? And to me, I'll You were never as any other slaves, Gulbegum," he said quietly. "Surely you must admit that. Amur khutam mufami. No, I worked harder. Was more often scolded. As tamam ziyad ma am lanat malamadam shudom ziyad karam kadom dabal," she said pensively, and were often praised. Wa bisyar ziyad tarifam shudetu," he added. "Would you have changed places with any of my other slaves?" Jai badli makani. With your cousin, for example, with Shirin, amu kari Shirin tu mani. For instance, I never scolded her. Mai jo waktu ish harf nas dum kaji. The girl looked down. No, Aga, I would not. You know, I would not. I was never unhappy, except in seeing you cast down and overstrained and anxious. Inik tu dum musibat min garnu mani marakat mertalak kadi diya ma. بدبختی ندیدم به چهار سالی بندی I had no trouble of my own not when you heard Muhammad Jan was going to reclaim you and tear you limb from limb توتا توتا تو محمد جان گفتد که منم نگر گیر کنه که خاتون فراری استی تو how quickly a forgotten girl تو از یاد ترتو محمد جان Mama Jan, oh, that is the one name on earth that makes me tremble, Aga. Mama Jan, do you believe in dreams? I know you do. And in palmistry, this selkido, how tabiri, how this selkido, tali tochkido, you believe in it. All such things, although you will not own it. The ruch namayri, magar khub tu mami dami chizast de akidadri. She gave him no time to answer, but continued, "Aga, that man is in my fate. Hotum dem dijazamu famina. I cannot shake him off or get rid of him. He haunts me. Mr. Sayali is pas pas on my ayi. It the bachtas my chis karkanom. I thought that a great thick blackness was drawn between me and the light, and when I tried to peep peer through it, I saw only, as it were." Through a mist, the how come to me when I'm kiss, I'm to say as yergeda mar. Tricky me gar no. Me kaim kems pardara. Pas kanom selgan mek chiz gobar gobar mushay mitar. A thick white mist like a veil. Pardarli. I strained my eyes and strained and strained again. Then saw a face. It was Muhammad Jan. And then the darkness deepened again, and I awoke. Cold and trembling, and with the feeling that I had seen a vision rather than dreamt an ordinary dream. Why, Khader, Khabib, but that by nature, my God, just did him. I mean, how nice do my things that did him? That should be new. Khabar shirishin dama. Forget about that now, child. But she said, "Like Wally, the official said kindly, but rather sadly, he too was." Superstitious, um, vahamibud. Those thoughts, those dreams, that fate belong to Kabul. We have both broken our kismet. We have burst our bonds, bandir maid maidagdem, and as you yourself said, but a few minutes ago, we are free. Al dil dari neura. We must both dream, but now. We must dream for the future. Dreams of peace. 
an after pause of power. Amnu Qudrat. I feel a different man. When shall I reach India? And when we are to get food and where? This mountain air gives me quite an appetite. Do you see that cleft in the hill there, Agha? Far in the distance? If we make for that, we shall be taking the shortest way to India. Unutraf India. Shall I take you there? Bayam Kachmo? Or will you not stay a day or two and rest? In this country, we are safe. Rest? Why should I rest? Her companion asked gaily. What has there been to fatigue me? I went for an afternoon and evening ride. I slept well last night. And I'm fresh. And I'm even ready for a flight this morning. I'm yal tayaram ki burun. It really does seem laughable how easily I've got rid of my troubles. <laughs> there has been no fatigue, no khastagi, no difficulty, no danger. Was ever escape so planned? And now, I come to think of it, I owe it to you, Gulbegum. Tamamas, khairat saras you planned and arranged this scheme. I am not ungrateful. I shall remember you always. By the by, what shall you do while I am in India? The girl started. What shall I do? What should I do? What I have always done. Do you no longer need me? Are you coming with me then? He asked, looked at her. There are, you know, no slaves in India. The moment you get there, you will be free. Don't you know that? These kafirs have no slaves. They think it's a sin. Stop! Please excuse me. Lilius Hamilton, Mugadravira. Jumlai Thari Khizida Inji. The door in the great game. 1800. Magar Faramoshka, the key, the name is slave trade, which would dra. Kick the type in the Google key, cheese malum mashaki inji, story kafra, Mugagulam Hubnia. Shai the Muakta Taza. 1876 That sentence Am I not free now? She asked simply. Here and there it seems to me that I am free. Do you not give me my freedom? Oh yes, I do. But how can I take a young girl of your position home with me to wait on me? It is out of all custom in India, even more so than in this half-savage country. I do not know, she said. You must know best. You have a mother. Can I not live with her and wait on you? You have a father, he said quietly. The girl put her hand on her heart. Yes. I have a father, she said softly. How could I forget? He needs me. I will go to him. I shall miss you. Will we go? Her companion continued, Earnestly, I am not sure that I shall be able to manage without you. 
is to tear her children and her but I must try. My mother would not understand your position at first. Alma, I have a question. 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 This is not Kuri, this is Gulbegum. How do I, am I going to explain to her in Punjab? My mother would not understand your position at first. If I took you with me, if I explain everything to her and she agrees, you could come and join me later. Welcome back to the Fahunji. Raj Yorkanam or Bhugam ki ki maya, char maya. And when I have prepared the way for you, Welcome back to the Fahunji. The girl drew a long breath, almost as though something were stifling her. Aziyat mazal ye kuchis. Whatever you you choose, that I will do. Aha. It is for you to decide. But a new and unexpected trouble seemed to have arisen. The light died out of her eyes. What was the use of freedom? He noticed her too evident pain and would have soothed her. It will only be for a while, for a time. You will not be parted from me long, he said gently. Forever, forever, forever kept ringing in her ears. But she did not answer, only turned round in her saddle as though to review the past that was all gone. Zin Khamita Daur Makhra was passed on the sale, not a mom, she died, she might. Mijar Sal, Shikarash. To look at the road along which fate had led her. Tamzurai Kiura, Takdir Tamal Raurda. She knew nothing of the future, nor where it was to take her, as Ainda Khabari Neist, but in the distance behind her lay the fertile plain. Along which she had ridden, a plain now lit with sunshine. Roshan. Though it had been dark enough as she had ridden along it, then beyond that rose the hills that now divided her from Kabul. Then beyond that rose the hills that now divided her from Kabul, from the past on which she was already beginning to look so tenderly. From the past on which she was already beginning to look so tenderly, about midway between her and them, there were some specks distinctly visible upon the plain. There might have been anything, camels or ponies, grazing perhaps, but were far too distant to make out. The mudashd, but me bine malum sayna mushe ki na gawa gospoya ustura adam achiza. Ame tadik chiz malum mushonji. She had not noticed them as she had passed along. She hardly noticed them now. She was thinking of something else, of the great blank that was coming upon her, of the great trouble she had brought upon herself, for she knew him well. Without her, her master would not have moved a step. He would have been in Kabul still, and there would have been no talk of separation. بخاطر از اوم دایره که آزاد کنم آقای خورا مفتمی گفته کنم بود خواهم خسای جدایم اج نام بود خلاصه دلش خراب شده ریه. She half wished she could recall what she had done. Those had been happy days. Why had she herself? with her own hands, cut the cords that bound her to them. The sun was getting hot, she felt thirsty. I thought, what is the need for you? 
همین کمی کار ضروری بود که تو میخواستی بشنی همین تمام بس فکر نکم مخو ماز مجبوری فرار کده ایمور که این خود میخونم دی دشنه موشده ای دوران افتا و بال میم آقا let us stop and rest at the first stream همین اول چشمه گیر کدی یک لازه استراد کنی she said we are still there three miles from the next village let us rest for half an hour tired he asked why we have gone no distance yet. No, no distance. But now that the great effort is over, and we are safe, I feel I would like to rest only a minute. And bathe my head and feet. I am not accustomed to these boots, so they seem heavy. He looked at her. She was certainly paler than she had been in the early morning. Before the sun had risen so high. Yes, why not? There, okay, he said. We'll look out for the first spring. And when they found one, she was like a child in her delight. And sat on the bank, dangling her feet in the clear mountain stream of yakhkoi hai va va de zigarmi ouchma gulbego the official said suddenly catching hold of her arm look what is that upon the plain surely not cattle una che mal malum nam shena mal mal go malama ni go mal ni the girl sprang to her feet and in instant to horses, ah, to horses. They are horsemen. They are sawars. Zudbarim sawars ne. We are followed. We must get to the hills, to the caves. We must fly for our lives. Farar. In three minutes, they were in their saddles and in full flight. I wonder if they have seen us. Muradidia nadid. If not, we have nothing to fear. When we get to that corner there, pointing to the turn in the valley up which they were riding, we will double like a heron when it is chased. That will put them off the scent. None but a Hazara would think of that dodge. Because none else would know that down there to the right lies one of those cave villages I told you of. An Afghan could only suppose we would fly straight to India. They turned the corner and by so doing lost sight of those whom they believed to be their pursuers. But five minutes later, a shot rang through the air. Bang! And then a cry, a woman's cry of pain. A horseman darted out from among the boulders, and stood confronting them on the road. It was Muhammad Jan. Both recognized him at once, though neither spoke, and both instinctively put their hands into the breast of their coats and draw out their pistols, then fired simultaneously. Ardush fired, fired back. A bullet buzzed past the chief secretary's head, just grazing his ear. Muhammad Jan had discharged his second barrel. And had thrown up his arms wildly above his head, and in doing so, his rifle let flowing from his head far off among the boulders. Then he had reeled in his saddle and had fallen heavily on the ground. It had all happened in a moment. There had been no time for words, hardly for thought. Eight in the family, them chirkam shoot, yak the famo, the second barrel of the last of the firing, cross firing, yak the famo to function. 
Ja zdi, čemu ofta hoće da zimenimo ofta zaspo. Aga, leave me, the girl said faintly. I cannot ride with you. I feel sick. And she dismounted hurriedly. Fly, Farar can aga, fly to India. Take the direction I pointed out to you. I will rest here a little, then make my way to the village. It is not far from here. Now Muhammad John is dead. I have nothing further to fear. The soldier will never discover my whereabouts. They would never have discovered us now, but for him. Yes, karapaydan nemi tenis mora. Enimi, enimi azri khagmanda. I have nothing further to fear. The soldier will never discover my whereabouts. They would never have discovered us now, but for him, he must have guessed I would take this turn. When I found we were pursued, we have made a cut over here, leaving the soldiers to go straight on. You have only to ride, but ride as for your life. Your horse is good and fresh. He will carry you safely home, and I too will go home. She sighed. I'm not far from my grandmother's old home now. I can easily get there, where I am all well known. I have a woman's tunic under my coat. I can take off these men's clothes and leave them here among the stones. Even where I meet the Afghan soldiers, I should excite no suspicion in their minds. They would pass by me. I would merely be to them a Hazara woman attracted to this spot by the shots. And if they were even to ask me if I had seen you, I would say yes, madidum, and that you have ridden to the village to get food. Then seeing her master hesitate and looked dissatisfied, Aliu Chief Secretary Gangsar Fikr Faisalana Mitana. They will never come this way, though, she added. It is off the direct route. But hasten. Hasten, Aga, or you will be too late. Fly, fly. I'm not much hurt. I'm fine. I am hardly in any pain, only faint. Come, Gangsum. I felt at first as if I had been hit here in the chest. With the end of the rifle or something heavy, but now I think it can only have been the start and fright. I feel nothing of it, only faint. I am at home. It is you who are in danger. She seized his hand and covered it with kisses. Master, Aga. Dear Master, Aga Jan, my beloved fly, she whispered. But he remained where he was, kneeling beside her, realizing but too well what had happened. So eager was she in her entreaties, so absorbed was he in his distress, at parting with her, thus that neither had paid the slightest heed to the man who had lain so still and lifeless on the ground. In a other the Ram who Mutalaya, Kipurmuska the Yu Kamilan Namor the Imamajan Nimdamanos. Noiselessly, almost imperceptibly, he had crawled Hezida Hezida forward on his stomach. Suddenly, the official caught a sound. Chief Secretary heard a movement. It was the drawing of steel along a scabbard. Instantly, he fired again, but not before the wounded man had flung his heavy knife. Da! Isn't fire now, Unji? Khatkhanjar. And flung it true to the target. It found its resting place deep in the throat of the girl. And she lay propped up against a stone.
Gulbegum, Gulbegum. An exceedingly bitter cry ran to the air. He has killed you. He has killed you, Aiva. And the chief secretary forgot his pride and knelt and wept over the girl he had too late learned to appreciate. Ali voye nitu ki morda. One wave or her great tender hand that had so often soothed him in his pain. One loving glance that told him what he had known or could have known for years. And she was gone. Free. Free at last. Completely free. Even from the new pain that had come to her in her last hour. Azi tardi judaiyam halas. Azu konesham halas. And which would have turned her freedom to nothing but wormwood and gall. Yag musibadi digazubad shurumash. He turned to see if this time her murderer was really dead or not. There was no mistaking it now. <sighs> Why had he not made sure before? Chara mi tur confirm na kiti bad mazhab ke mi murda na murda. The last bullet had gone straight through the back of his neck. Then the chief secretary rose, mounted his horse, and was off a full gallop on the road to India. In the beginning of this last chapter, we presented to you a little piece from a classic poem from Saebi Tabrizi, who is of the, also a grandmaster like Bidil. Agar bibandagi sarvis irshad me kunim tara, isharaist ki azad me kunim tara. Toba shikastagi e pa, kadam birah kuzar. Langi de langi de biatu, ke ma bija ziba imdad me kunim tara. It will help you, it will cash money to the Tukhalikam Paypay Kukhanu. Rakh bor. Bisho bekhum ze de lande shayir haira Ke gar adam shari ijad me kuni matara Dari mohit cho qasre ho bab gar sad bar Ke 
आजाद में कुनी मथुरा जो माहे अन मशोज याद खैर दे माफिल जो माहे अन मशोज याद खैर दे माफिल वगैन रोजी सैयाद में If you like fish, you forget about the water and you're, um, you're like, what is happening? Where is the water? I don't find the water. Then we'll shikari sayyad mukunim. To zara awa zao burnim, ki karta mani atish buri, hu pukhtash da khordash ni tu. Agar tu barge ala yitz iz khud bi afshani Bahar alam ijaz Masaz ru turushaz gosh maal masayev Paniyad story, you know, this gosh maali ki momanim, tarikh gosh maali mona Masaz ru turushaz gosh maal masayev Ke maan bhe thar bhiyat Ustad me kani matura Ki ma be tarbiya Ustad me kani matura The Grand Master of Life, the School of Life, the Grand Master says Ki awal matur paniyadnam baas darisyad midam This is life Chari ki matur ustad jor ki diniyam And I hope my dear Nosogo in Bakulo, wherever in the Hazara, world Hazara communities you might be, in Quetta, in London, in Melbourne, in New York, in Middle East, in Gulf, in Central Asia, in India. On the way, on the, on the Hagmana way in, in Jakarta, in Indonesia, hal is very kharab. These uh, refugees who are still, um, it's not only the Hazara refugees. It is the Arab, it's the Syrian, it's the Iranian, it is the uh, everywhere. Kulluhum on the boat. Boat people going to Australia, Raband. Where are they now? They are hung for three, four years. America me gulbe gum bandi uda tai. Bisyaari gulbe guma. In America me bandi adara. The Jakarta. Umid varastim ki daastan hai paniadra kashkrim da tarafi panier. And now this is forty chapters makamal, and I'm very grateful for some friends who've joined us to see it off and to become part of this paniad program. And I hope that we will be able to bring more stories of what happened. Lots of people like Gulbegum, they were also made prisoners of war. They were sold everywhere, even sold in India. It, they say that there was no slavery in India. They are lying. Slavery is still now. Cheez mugi tu azu temra. Khali bana tazweer. I'm like, oh, ham ne isko azad kar diya. We need finished. There is no ghulam in now. Constitutionally, nobody can keep ghulam. But you can do it from the back door again. The debt slavery, for example, the whole world. Do you know how much the whole world? These people are playing the games. But who is paying for that game? The whole world is playing for that game. The entire world, give me a st let me give you, inform you that the entire world's debt today, in 2018, May, is 60 or 70 trillion dollars. America alone is 21, 25 trillion dollars. UK, 5, 6 trillion dollars. This is the karbar of qarz. You know, print the money and then burn it. Print the money and then burn it. Eglas guzara ku bibin ki chirkham musha. Chirkham na musha yi khagmena. Yi grand empire za mesha fall manan. Magar da zir sae zu da san hai insan ha. Nevishta musha. Ki ta hudu di genocide mora. Wa imroz ham the 21st century. The Hazara people are facing the same conditions. Why? Because Probably they did not paniyat from the story of a wazir's daughter. And I hope it has been worth your while. Shmo YouTube dren, Facebook dren, Netflix dren, Hollywood dren, Jollywood dren, Bollywood dren, Hollywood dren. I don't know, whatever, everything dren. But why should you listen to a wazir's daughter? Because it is your own story, isn't it?
you, if you don't own it, that's your story. But we are talking to the Nosa, who is keeping the company of Bakul. And we want a warrior, scholar warrior, better to be a scholar warrior in the garden than a gardener in a war. Haikido Nawrozawar. It has been such a marvelous time to be part of this whole entire show. I really want to say something, but if Chagar, you want to add something at the end, I mean, you go to the store and I'm going to go to the store. 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 I'm going to go to the um, Chagar is very, um, uh, very well into it now, and uh, the story of the uh, the entire uh, story began with this: the Hazara pioneers' library. It's not library; you only know and you don't say. No, you bring the history to life. You bring it live. Now, after the Paniyad of the genocide. Uh, in, the, in the time of the Abdur Rahman in, in 1893 onwards, when slavery was also part of the scenario in that society at that time. But when the Hazaras resurrected, resurged in British India, in Balochistan at that time, the Hazara for Balochistan, you owe this legacy of the Hazara pioneers and it comes to you. And that, we hope, uh, will be a great other opportunities to hear the stories directly from the Nosego uh, of the pioneers and uh, whether you are genetically the Nosa pioneers or you are culturally you bearing that legacy. The ring of history in the 20th century is the Hazara pioneers if 20, 19th century is genocide and this is probably as a resurrection century 21st. Jor Bashin, Khairiyat Bashin, Khana Abad. Bye now.